I'm in Somerville and in this video I'm going to talk about strategies that you can use for making systems more secure. Basically there are four approaches that, are, that can contribute to system security. Deterrence, awareness, procedures and monitoring and logging. Deterrence is making it harder for an intruder to get into your systems. Awareness is making people more aware and <clears throat> consequently more likely to pay attention to security issues. Procedures is for an, an organisation having sensible security procedures, both sensible and workable security procedures. And monitoring and logging is where an organisation keeps track of what's going on so that security breaches can be identified. Let me start with deterrence. First of all, you have to realise that 100% deterrence is impossible. If an attacker has unlimited time and unlimited resources, they will gain access to your system. However, the reality is attackers never have unlimited time and resources. So the point of deterrence is to make it so difficult that the attacker goes elsewhere. They don't try and attack your system. And we know that deterrence in general works to reduce crime. We've seen, for example, much lower levels of car crime over the past 20 years because it has become harder and harder to steal cars. There are various examples of deterrence mechanisms that you can use. You can use, for example, diverse authentication, where you don't have a single authentication mechanism, such as a login password combination, but you have a login password combination combined with some kind of question or biometric that actually then means that someone has to break two levels of security to gain access to your system. It makes sense to use firewalls to restrict traffic into your system that is potentially malicious. Encryption can be used where appropriate to protect information. You use HTTPS, secure protocol, which encrypts traffic on the internet, and you take confidential information and encrypt that. In reality, it's probably not worth encrypting everything, but being selective as to what is encrypted. Password security is <clears throat> basically the simplest and most effective way to improve the security in your system. Surveys have shown that there's a number of passwords that are incredibly commonly used. Here are some examples. If an attacker gets access to a list of passwords, they can try these common examples against that list and the chances are they will find that some users on that list are using these passwords. So, a simple piece of advice is never use any of these common passwords. A very common attack strategy is for an attacker to break into a site and steal a list of encrypted passwords and then use brute force technologies to try and break these passwords to get the plain text for them. They then work on the fact that users tend to use the same password and they can then get access to other sites in that way. This is a website which I find very effective because what it does is that it applies various strategies to break a password, to actually decrypt a password and it tells you how long it would take using brute force attacks to guess that password. Let's just think about making a secure password. Assume that as a child you had a hamster. So you think of hamster as your password. Well, a brute force attack can break this pretty quickly. This site says less than a day. In fact, it's less than an hour. There are 27,000 seven letter words in English. So simply by trying them all, you can find out what the password is. People who send you passwords tend to use random strings of letters, letters and numbers, and these certainly are not in the dictionary, so they take a little bit longer to, to break. But this password, which is 86ERZ9T, 
not one you can easily remember, can easily be broken in less than a day. Similarly, if we add a <coughs> few letters to hamster by saying my hamster as a password, it's still quite easy to break. But there's a lot more combinations than in the simple word hamster. So it may well be that you might be starting to deter an attacker at this stage who may give up earlier rather than try so many combinations. If your hamster was called Spot, the easy way to make a very secure password is to make a passphrase, my hamster Spot. As you can see here, my hamster Spot is a very secure password. It takes 150 years using a brute force attack to try and break that. You can be fairly confident that an attacker will give up before that time. Encryption is a technology that scrambles information. Basically, you take a piece of information and you apply a systematic transformation to that based on some key. And that produces the information in a different form, which is, is not readable by uh, an attacker. If you have the key or a way of decrypting that information, you can then try do the reverse transform, turn it back to the information that you need. So that if you encrypt information, it's relatively secure from attackers. I, for example, use Dropbox a lot to store information, but any information I don't want to be read, I encrypt on Dropbox. Lots of information I don't care about, so I keep that in plain text. There's two kinds of encryption process, one called a symmetric key encryption and another asymmetric key encry encryption. In, one, in the first case, we use the same key to encrypt and decrypt the information. So we take a transformation, apply that to the information, and the reader of the information has the same key. They apply that to get the text back. Asymmetric encryption, or so-called public key encryption, means that you can publish your key, your public key, and there's no need to exchange keys with a reader to decrypt the information. Basically, you use your private key to encrypt the information and the reader can decrypt it with your public key. I'm not going to go in here how this actually works, but it is a, a more effective approach to encryption than a, a symmetric encryption system. There's no doubt if you use it sensibly, encryption can contribute significantly to cybersecurity. It's a form of deterrence. It makes it harder, not impossible, but harder to get to information. The problem with encryption is there are issues such as the security of encryption keys. The general inconvenience of encryption, it slows things down, which means that tech people tend to use it in quite a patchy way. There's the, the problem of key loss or corruption. If you lose your key or if you lose your private key or if it's damaged in some way because it's it's a long string of characters it's not one you can remember then you have a real problem in, in, in the, getting your encrypted information back and when you back up information if it's encrypted again you have to have the key to decrypt that information if you have something like a disk failure and you lose everything it's very hard to recover your information from a backup Awareness is simply making users more aware of cybersecurity issues. And it's very important in an organization that this should go throughout the organization from the most junior to the most senior employee. It's equally important to be open about incidents that have occurred, not to pretend they haven't happened, so that people know that this is a real threat. When you're <coughs> developing cybersecurity awareness, you have to take into account how people really are rather than ideally how you might like them to be. People are careless, forgetful, in a rush. And all of these factors contribute to the fact that they, they sometimes don't follow stringent procedures as, as you might like them to. It's silly <coughs> to give bad information. For example, use a different password for every site you visit. That's just crazy. It's impossible to remember all these different passwords, and none of us actually do that. 
Far better to give sensible information, like use a different password for every online banking system you use, but to use the same password for sites where you simply don't care. It also makes sense not to store your credit card details when companies say, would you like us to remember these details? I know it's inconvenient to input, re-input them every time, but if your credit card details aren't on their files, they can't be stolen by an attacker. It's important to design appropriate procedures which reflect the value of the information that's being protected. Some organisations apply the most stringent security procedures applicable to a small fraction of the information they, 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 they hold, and they apply them to everything, which slows down and causes incredible inconvenience. In many cases, making information public is one of the best things that you can do. If you make information public, then you don't need to worry about it being protected. You can focus on protecting your critical confidential information. It's important to have cybersecurity awareness and training for all staff, up to senior management, perhaps especially senior management, because if that awareness starts at the top, it will become uh, a routine part of the organisation. It's also important to recognise reality that people will use their own devices, they will use phones and tablets to do work and not to try and introduce procedures that make this impossible because all that will happen is people will find ways to subvert these procedures. Monitoring and logging is simply keeping track of everything that's going on and it's Important to do this not just to discover problems that arise and hopefully to detect how these problems have arisen, but it's important to do that because it's an important deterrent to insider attacks. If people know that what they're doing is being monitored, it makes it much more likely that any attack will be discovered and hence less likely that people will be tempted to commit such an attack. In summary then, if we want to improve cybersecurity, we need to focus on four strategies. Deterrence, awareness, effective security procedures, and monitoring and logging. You can download the slides that accompany this video from my SlideShare account.